Welcome back. Now we're going over to the Ashanti region and Kumasi to be precise where Evans Inkum, uh, Ashanti region correspondent, is on standby to give us updates on what exactly is happening there as well. Good morning, Evans, and thank you for joining us. Good morning, Bella, and thanks for having me. Yes, I see that you're wearing your mask fully prepared, but can you tell us Absolutely. what the atmosphere is like in Kumasi? So as you can see, there is the central business district and looks deserted. Uh, just in front of the Merkel, I mean, if you know Kumasi very well. Now, if you pass through the Hello FM area, that place also looks almost usual silence. Mm. And that is unusual about that particular place because there's a buzzing on a normal day. But Ex one good thing about this particular place is that at least automatically you are keeping your distance because you don't see anybody around you. But if you go to uh, a place like Ahembo Buano, where, I mean, a lot of market women have displayed their words, I got worried because I realized keeping a distance was a bit of a difficulty as far mm. as that particular place is concerned. Maybe going forward, the government will want to uh, do more of campaign drive just to let the women or the market women understand the reason why they have to keep their distance, even though they are part of the essential service, they are exempted, but they still need to keep safe as far as this particular uh, I mean, uh, COVID-19 is concerned. So, Bella, I can tell you that Kumase is almost dead. Okay. But when it comes to people who are exempt, I'm talking about the market women, the banks mm. and all of that. Yeah. They are working better. Okay. Well, you're saying that the market women have their wares out there selling. Are people out there buying? Well, yes. I mean, but not as uh, you normally see on a normal day, comparatively. But okay. I can say that, well, you know, Kumase, one thing about Kumase is that even though people have been permitted to come on the street, mm. especially when you want to buy something that is very essential, but still people want to stay at home because, because of the fear that, yeah. I mean, especially when people are hearing that the, the virus is airborne, they, okay. they, still want to, they still want to stay at home. They just don't want to take chances. Okay. Nevertheless, the others that are still in the street buying one or two stuff. But for a doom proper, it is very difficult. I mean, if you're watching us and you're coming to a doom and you're thinking of getting your usual watch, you forget it because they did not come. What, what about the security personnel? Do we have them mounted at various points uh, along the streets? They've been moving around. I've seen a couple of them uh, not too long ago. I saw... Uh, military men, I mean, patrol the areas. Uh, one thing that I can also say that they are very friendly when they see you and you don't fall within that category of uh, essential uh, people as far as the directive is concerned, they just tell you to go back to your house. Okay. I mean, it, it's not as the using any brute force. So they tell you, they advise you to go back because you're not part of us. Okay. Well, I see just a few vehicles plying the routes as well. There was a directive by the transport ministry that they adhere to the social distancing directive as well. Have you paid attention to that? And do you see, um, you know, the, the, the cars filled up or can you see that they are adhering to that directive as well? Interestingly, it, it, it looks like, or uh, it appears as if the uh, transport unions have ask a certain, I mean, number of uh, commercial drivers to operate on the street because a do, for instance, I mean, there's a buzzing place. Yeah. You're expecting to see a lot of commercial vehicles, but you are not seeing that. Mm -hmm. And I mean, the few that are, seen, especially with taxis, you only see two people in there. All the taxis that have come across, or the cars that have come across, I only saw the driver and the passenger. So I can say that when it comes to adherence to the, to, to, to the directive that they shouldn't pick more than three people, they are doing exactly that better. Okay, okay. Evans, thank you so much for the update. I'm sure much later we'll get in touch with you again for some more. Thank you. And that was Evans Inkum from Kumasi. He is our correspondent. And so for you out there as well, we hope that you're staying home. And if you have any questions to ask, you can send them via our WhatsApp numbers and also via social media at TV3 Ghana. Let us know how you're spending your first day under lockdown as well. We'll be